All right. So Na tell me your name and uh, your designation. Namaste. My name is Neeti Mehta. I'm director of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Sydney. Okay, so um, I understand that in uh, India has been part of HOMA for a couple of years. So um, basically what drives the participation year in, year out and what, what do you get out of this? So as we know, India has a lot of culture and with it we are extremely rich in textiles. And we saw it former is a fantastic way, so considering it stands for fabrics in modern Australia. We thought it's a fantastic way of showcasing our rich cultural heritage. This evening we have saris from all parts of India, north, south, central, east and west. And in every single state the saris are not only worn differently, the weaves are different, the colours. And we thought um, with Australia being multicultural it would be a great way for us to be able to show the connects between India and Australia and that's the reason that we're here today. Okay, so, um, you know, as you know, we know Indian costume is very traditional. Like, if, it's in, if we're in India, we can wear sari every day, we can wear Punjabi suit every day, but we're in Australia now and it's very different. So how does Indian designers, like, what do they do to sell their craft, you know? How do they uh, make it, modernize it? So in India and now with the Indian diaspora all around the world, they have been able to adapt the Indian traditional fashion. So we have kurtis, we have lengas, which are like trousers. You have different ways of wearing saris. Uh, the blouses, the styles, the cuts, everything is adaptable, changeable, and that's what fashion is about. And if you see Indian textiles, they have been there for decades and decades, but they've always evolved and grown. It's also about sustainability. So we have a lot of the Indian uh, fabrics, indigo dyes, natural dyes, khadi, which has been, um, you know, been adapted by Western fashion, in fact, uh, because India has always had a sense of sustainability with its textiles. Okay, your sari is excellent, and it's also very light, and it's easy to move with. So, is this one of the ways that, you know, we can, like, modernize Indian clothing in a, in a different, like, you know? So actually my sari is very traditional, it's a Banarasi, it's hand woven uh, weave, um, but I do believe that taking on board the design, the colours, the kind of um, mixing materials, um, it can be adapted to the younger generation as well. So in fact you now have stoles, dupattas, yeah. um, I give an example of Patola which is from Gujarat and now they have men's handkerchiefs. They have women's batwas, which are little purses. So there are lots of different ways of being able to adapt. And um, it's great that our textiles can also move with the times. And that's what's happening around the world. You can see the bindi, you can see the earrings, you know, different things are changing. You can see the kagra cholis. Uh, so in Indian festivals, if you're attending, you can see, you know, the fashions are always changing every year. Alrighty, thank you.